Cars, coffee, cat videos, canned pineapple? None of these things are really things without energy. But although energy makes our whole world work, we don't think about it that much. Even the basic stuff, like how much energy do we use? And where does our energy come from? So let's take a look. For most of human history, our energy use was pretty flat. But in the past century, it skyrocketed. In the U.S., you use three times as much energy as your great-grandmother did 100 years ago, when they used more wood than oil. Like every animal, we use energy from the sun to stay warm, and we use the chemical energy from food to fuel our bodies. Worldwide, our biggest single source of energy isn't food, though. It's petroleum. We turn a lot of it into gasoline and diesel, which we use to move ourselves and our stuff around. But the vast majority of the energy we use today goes to generating electricity, which we do in all kinds of ways. We burn coal and natural gas, split atoms, dam rivers, harness wind, even turn sunlight directly into electricity. Where our electricity comes from depends on where we live. Countries like Poland and China get almost all of their electricity from coal, while others rely more on natural gas. A few countries rely almost entirely on hydroelectric dams, while even fewer get most of their electricity from nuclear fission. No country gets most of their electricity from wind and solar, though Denmark is getting close. How about the US? For decades, the American grid ran mostly on coal. But with the rise of fracking, still controversial, natural gas is pretty much tied for the top electricity spot. Travel around the country, however, and each region tells a different electricity story. In North Dakota, a light bulb plugged into the grid will run on electricity made mostly from coal. While in Oregon, that same light bulb runs mainly on hydropower. In New Hampshire, you've got primarily nuclear power. And in Florida, mostly natural gas. After years of using more and more energy, demand in the U.S. is starting to level off. We still use a lot. On average, an American uses three times the energy of someone in China. But then again, that same American only uses a third of what an Icelander uses. But regardless of where you live, things will be very different for your great-grandkids. Our energy sources and uses are changing in major ways. Electric cars could edge out gasoline. Renewables are on the rise. Electricity generation is getting less centralized. And data is making us smarter about how we use energy. There's a lot at stake. Energy is more than a matter of comfort. It makes all of our important systems work. Health, the economy, communication, it's part of everything. And the choices we make now will determine how we use energy in the future.